Tonight on Studio One, what it takes to become an elite model. Tom Ashton makes uh, three meals with just one chicken. And Elham delivers an emotional report on Abu Dhabi's Catman. Hmm, it could only be Studio One. Live from Dubai. And welcome to Studio One and tonight we go all glamorous with the search for the next elite model and Alham meets a man who sacrifices everything for Abu Dhabi's cats. Yeah, inspiring story. You can comment on everything we're discussing this evening via Twitter. Remember to hashtag Studio One Live 2 at Dubai One TV. Send your emails to studio1 at dmi.ae. Uh, join in the discussion on our Facebook fan page. Or text your views and questions to 056-680-1018. Good old text message. <laughs> before we go any further mm -hmm. with tonight's show, everyone, okay, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's get into today's Studio One News and Views. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, tonight's news is something that we all will feel extremely proud about. Now, a recent study which was conducted by the United Nations, it's called the Happiness Report. And this study is conducted on the basis of the mood and overall life satisfaction of citizens of a country. And guess what? The UAE has ranked as the happiest nation in the <laughs> Arab world and 14th globally which means that we've beat US, which is on the 17th position, UK on the 22nd, Germany 26th, and Japan, which is on the 43rd position. Yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Tom, now, what do you love most about the UAE? Uh, I come from a country where computer says no, everyone <laughs> says no, it's just no, it seems to be the first. So that positive attitude, that mm. yes, can do attitude. Right. I think what I love most about the UAE is that I've been here since I was four years old. So I've been here before the Burj Khalifa, the Dubai Mall. And I think besides the most obvious things, that it's tax-free and it's a safe country, I think what I love most about uh, the UAE is the fact that it is home. Now, reactions to this story have been coming in on our Twitter page. Tom, what does it look like? They have indeed. Yeah, keep them coming throughout the show. It'd be good to get your thoughts. Uh, Kana, thank you very much indeed for sending your thoughts. At Dubai One TV, of, of course. It is safe to live in Dubai, so safely coming into the question yet again. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the one thing that makes sure we are happy. And let's go to the next one as well, if we can. This is from Yuves. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, it's amazing to be noted as one of the happiest countries in the world and just to make a point there he says sleep <laughs> okay. ping makes me happy doesn't it all really well uh, thank you so much for writing to us on twitter remember hashtag studio one live at dubai one tv now enough with the news it's time for some cooking So over to the kitchen where Tom meets Tom for the first time in season four. Great to have you it's with been, us. Been well, a while. How's things? Uh, yeah, busy. I mean, uh, two shows in already. Things are happening. We're tapping screens so and it's all. It's all gone fancy with the screen and all that. It's Enough about us, though. What about you? Busy old summer. Not only become a dad for the first time. Yep. So congratulations uh, to that. Thank you. Uh, but a, a cycle challenge as well. Tell us more about yeah, this. Yeah, I was off in uh, Austria. Okay. Uh, it's a charity ride uh, organised through Starwood Hotels. So there were 23 of us from all around, all around the world cycling 420k in Austria, 8,000 metres up. How long did it take you? Uh, three days we did, okay. uh, between 8 and 10 hours a day. So, it's so a the day getting there, day getting back, three days, so that's, that's a week away with a newborn in the house. Wife must have yeah. been happy, wasn't she? Uh, she was back in the UK, so <laughs> I escaped. Right, let's get into the cooking. What are you doing for us so this today, evening? So today, part of the whole being a husband and a wife and a, and a daddy now, uh, Three meals with one chicken. So the plan is the wife can get a roast chicken, yeah. make some chicken soup, a smoked chicken salad, and have enough food for Making the week. Making it go far. Yeah. Thrift. That's what we love to see. Uh, looking for that. One chicken makes three recipes this evening. That's on our Facebook page right now. As that's the place where you can go find out a little bit more about how you can win with Studio One. Let's find out what this week's competition is. Studio One gives you the chance to win amazing prizes. This week, you could win an energizing ritual from Maven Spa. Beauty products from OPI and Unnatural, Nail goodies from Sally Hansen. And our star prize, 
an ultimate adventure package for four at Wadi Adventure in Al Ain. But to win, you've got to play. For your chance to join us playing live on the show, simply email your name and mobile number to studio1 at dmi.ae. Good luck. Great stuff, lot to be won there, isn't there? Yeah, That's for lots sure. Lots of prizes to Good be Good to see the edge away. back in the kitchen as yeah, well. It's Looking well, back isn't it? On action, yeah. No, oh, he's a favourite. Now, for the first time in this region, the Elite Look Model Competition is giving thousands of girls the chance to become a top model. Uh, in the past, it's discovered some of the world's most iconic models, likes of Alessandra Ambrosia, Cindy Crawford, and Diane Kruger. Here to tell us more about the competition is one of the finalists, Eva, and the event organiser and judge, Adriana Usfad. Thank you very much indeed for being with Thank us. Thank you for having us. Um, uh, I mean, Elite is a name synonymous with models and the modelling industry the world over. Um, Adriana, why Dubai for one of the regional uh, competitions? Why is this an important place to bring the competition to? The region is already becoming a fashion hub. Yeah. So it is only normal for elite to try to organise a competition here as well. Um, now, we also know that the region is used to having the best. So because of this, us as an agency, the FLC models, have approached Elite and together they ha we have decided to organize the competition mm. here as well. Okay. Mm. Well, this is huge, isn't it? Because it's been around since 1983. Elite Model Look is definitely one of the biggest uh, modeling competitions in the world. And as we mentioned earlier, I mean, Cindy Crawford is, uh, you know, one of the discoveries of, of this uh, agency. Now, Eva, First of all, welcome back to Studio One because I believe you've done a bit of modeling for us in the past. Yes, and thank congratulations you very much for on being me. one of the finalists. What does this competition mean to you? Uh, it's uh, it's a it's a worldwide competition, so it's uh, one of the biggest things events in my life so far for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, starting from April when we had the first castings until today, uh, when we are a few days uh, until the finals on the 14th of September. Mm -hmm. Uh, there, the modeling um, for me is a, like it's my passion. So to be to have a chance to have this honor to be already so far, I'm already so thrilled. But I mean, it would be my dream for sure to uh, come all the way to the world finals, which will be happening in China uh, mm. later this year. So. Why, d why did you get involved? Was it your choice or did yeah. somebody uh, give you that uh, little push of encouragement? No, it was actually my choice. I'm very much into the fashion world, the fashion industry. I was always interested and I thought, why not start with modeling? Maybe that will bring uh, some sort of, a, you know, an entry to this, this world. Mm. Now, Adriana, uh, the competition has propelled up and coming models and giving them that international exposure uh, that they really need. Tell us a little bit about the requirements to qualify for a competition like this. Okay, As mentioned, there are different stages in the competition. It's, it's not a fashion show, it's a six months long competition. We are starting with the regional castings, then we are moving into a national casting, after which we have the final. So we have been to Dubai, we have been to Abu Dhabi, we have been to Qatar with this competition where we have tried to identify talents which can become the future next models. The initial requirements are 172 height and to be residents of this region. However, of course, it's not only the only thing is not to be beautiful, to qualify and to move to the further stages. There are lots of other things amongst which determination, personality, um, desire to follow this career, which so are very important. So those are all the ingredients. You mentioned that word talent, and a lot of people will think it's all about the looks, etc. But talent ha is, is, is a combination of a number of different ingredients, I take it, things. is it? Okay. Lots of and that's things. important to you and the judges, yeah? It is very important for the judges, of course. I mean, um, beauty is amazing, but it's not enough, unfortunately, yeah. because if you don't have the discipline, you need to work with a team of people every day. So if you don't have the necessary discipline, if you are not ready to work hard, if you are not determined, mm -hmm. if you don't have the right personality, if you are not mature enough to, to develop such a career, then of course, um, maybe for the years to come, you have a chance, but mm -hmm. this year, not really. It's refreshing to hear. Well, and Eva, since I mentioned earlier that you are one of the 12 finalists of the competition, what is the kind of preparation that you've had to make for this? Uh, the preparation week was uh, actually a five-day event. Uh, it was a very intense uh, 
Every day was very intense. We had a schedule. Every day was completely different. We were faced with different situations, uh, starting uh, work with the makeup artists, uh, the photographers. We had photo shoots and fittings. Uh, so we really got to experience a lot of things. We even had the nutritionist uh, coming, talking with us. We, ha we went to for some uh, exercises, some workouts. So um, it was a great beginning uh, to the fashion industry, to the fashion world. We got to experience how it is really to be a model and uh, how much uh, effort it has to take and you know it's not just about the pictures mm. it's everything that goes behind it final word to you uh, Adriana um, when Eva obviously wins not just the regionals but the global competition as well uh, obviously there will be uh, the immediate prizes that she gets but how much of a uh, foot up is this to get involved in the industry when you've got a name like elite alongside a competition victory like that it is huge. Yeah. So um, let's say if she, even if she's not the winner of this regional competition, <laughs> I'm, I'm just putting the words in front even, always. Yes, yeah. Theoretically, she yeah. is already going to be uh, being amongst the finalists in the region. She is already going to be in the books of elite. Cool. One, she is very young, so she has a chance to participate the next years. However, she is already going to be listed in all the elite regional offices. Now, if she moves to the next stage, where she goes to the world final, um, if she's one of the winners, then she gets a three years contract with the lead okay. and uh, a phenomenal price. Well, we're really privileged that uh, the elite model look has moved uh, to this part of the world. I mean, because I'm sure a lot of them out here would want to participate. For all the information on the contest, do log on to our Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash Studio One Live. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You. Yeah, best of luck to you, Eva. Thank you for that. After the break, Elham finds out what inspires another model gentleman, <laughs> Abu Dhabi's Catman. Right, after this. Welcome back to the show. Now, this season, our reporter, Elham Al Hamadi, has set herself the task of interviewing some of the most unique and inspiring people who live here in the UAE. Start with an unusual story for you of a man who uh, puts the needs of Abu Dhabi's stray cats before himself. Take a look at this. Today on the ordinary streets of Abu Dhabi, we are meeting a man with an extraordinary passion, also known as the Cat Man. I am working on a private company, it's a consulting engineering company, Lebanese uh, my boss, Mr. Hassan Tabit. And a uh, nice guy and uh, this office also I am more than 20-21 uh, years working, so PRO. Passport renewing uh, Java Zati, you know, Mandu Biani. So, our duty time morning 8 to 1 and 4 to 8. After 8 o'clock, I am going to feeding. Then people are looking me every day. Ah, you have a cat, this is your cat, this is your cat, you are cat man, cat man, huh? you are cat man. Yeah, I am happy, cat man, yes. Before I am feeding, nobody know I am feeding for cats or something. I am walking in the street, the one mosque near. I saw one cat uh, digging something. I saw what they're doing. Then this cats have one bread piece, a small one, inside the ramal. They're removing, they're eating. Subhanallah, uh, that time I am thinking, Ya Allah, I went to the supermarket, that time no have a supermarket like Emirates, no, one small grocery everywhere. So I bring bread, uh, 50 fields of samoon according. I piece, piece putting this cat, start eating, full finish. That day I am starting, I am thinking, subhanallah, nobody have to feeding, they will want to drink eating. Then start. And I am sending every month's money. What I am receiving my boss's salary, only 4,000 dirham. 2,500, 2,800 dirham, sometime going to this feeding. And alhamdulillah, God help for who helping for me. I am praying every time when I am praying for everyone I am praying. Because someone helping, this also including and giving and sending every month. I need 2,500 dirham to send my family. Totally, I think 600 cats, Kalidiya, Cornish, Abu Dhabi, and uh, 
many, many places and some mosque near, only not to meet. This is a dry food and some, this is a big cats, okay, they will bite, this is very hard. And the small baby, I am bringing this scan for the soft food. Every day not feeding milk because I am not a rich man. The newspaper last time they writing. Cats uh, sometime uh, weather, now hot time, they sick. They not eating and not drinking, they very tired. Then I have antibiotics, some medicine. I will buy the medicine, uh, the veterinary doctor I have uh, there I am drinking and feeding. Then I'm sure two, three days they will be okay. And cold time also same. Every week or every month, they have appointment. They will call to tell Ibrahim, you have appointment next week. I am preparing five or ten cats to sterilize and bring again next month. Like this, like this, I am doing this one, sterilization. Sometimes, no have money to go vacation also. I am comfortable sometimes. And especially feeding for nobody half a feeding. Just now I cancelled my ticket. I told you, no, I am going to next month because no, nobody have to feed, then I cancel my program to go vacation. Ibrahim Ahmed, or the cat man, lives to prove that in order to give back to the community, you really don't have to be rich. The smallest of actions can make the biggest difference. A very compassionate man indeed. Good for the cats. But what do you think his missus has to say? He's not going back home to visit her, just taking care of cats. But no comment. Uh, okay. Take a short break. Uh, we're off for <laughs> uh, that break now. But when we return, uh, there's some fun to be had in the kitchen. We have another go, another go that is, at the guessing game. Can you <laughs> guess what will happen? We can't. I keep tweets coming in. Merrick Khan, thank you very much indeed. Respect for the cat man. And 102.8, thank you for sending yours in as well. Good to see Tom Edgerton back. Is that your Twitter account or not? I've got a secret uh, account which I just <laughs> Twitter the show from here. They did just make a <laughs> point though. They said, one chicken, three dishes. Can it be done? It can be done. And I'll show you now. How? So we started off with the roast chicken here. Lovely lime and togarashi roast chicken, so nice Asian flavours, rather than your usual rosemary and lemon, which is, is quite often you see. I've gone for a nice Asian style here, so limes inside the chicken, togarashi on the outside, bit of olive oil in the oven. So limes inside for the stuffing. Limes inside. Secret to the roasting process, because so often people undo them, overdo them, etc. Hot at the beginning start, or Start not? off nice and hot, not hot nice turn it down, yeah. and remember to let it rest as well. Resting let all again. the juices relax and the meat relax as well. So that's your roast chicken. That's day one. So, so you got that's, 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 your, that's your mother dish, is it? Yeah. Once you've, once you've started that, you get all the, the meat and the, the legs off. You're left with the carcass, all the bones, which I've just used here to make a nice stock. OK. I've added some uh, ginger, some lime in there again, some coriander leaves. Uh, and basically, I've got a lovely stock here. I've also just added some rice noodles so don't throw the uh, the gizzards the uh, the keep bones all, all the leftovers all don't the bones give them to the stray cats keep them no keep them for yourself good stuff <laughs> so that's all all the flavors come out into the into the stock and then we're going to add some good old and how long are you, how long are you sort of cooking that down for you you want around, around two hours just nice slowly ticking over getting all the flavor out all the nice all the goodness out of all the bones about two hours and then you can let it strain you can make that that day use it for the next day or you can do it so fresh straight away. Something like this, I mean, the soup that you're preparing tonight, is that something you can uh, freeze, keep in the fridge? Yeah, definitely. You can make the base soup, stick it in the freezer, and then stick it in the fridge for next day. I Soup's suppose that's sort of place you can add bits and pieces too, don't you? Add whatever you want, whatever's yeah. left over in the fridge. Some fish in there as well. It doesn't have to be the chicken, it can be anything you fancy. Ed, you've been very thrifty, I like it. Just trying, this trying. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Cost-cutting, isn't it, mate? Free to feed now. <laughs> so... We've got so a we've got basic our roast chicken, we've got a soup. Got about three minutes left on this dish. Basic right? soup there. Gonna add some seasoning to there. Also, I've taken the the leg yep. from the roast chicken. That's gonna go in. So then we've got a nice keeping skin on. I take the skin off for the soup. Right. It can get a bit fatty. Yep. 
Nice, get all the meat in there. Yep. Still lots of flavour in there. Okay. And that's your, your basic soup. Coming up to about two minutes, Tom, just okay. to let you know. I'm just going to add a, a squeeze of lime in there as well. Lovely. So now we're going to go on to the salad. We're going to do a, a lovely smoked chicken. So I've taken the breast. Yep. And as you can see, oh. I've got some uh, hickory chips, which I've just lit, foil on top. The, uh, the flame goes out because of the lack of oxygen and the, the smokiness goes into the breast. It can't be as simple as that. It can be, it can be. Just some hickory chips in there, cover it up. Yeah. And you're smoking your own chicken breast. The longer the, longer the better. You want to keep it in there for as long as you can. Smoking. Get all the nice smoky flavour in there. Then here I've got some turkey bacon. One minute remaining, Just Mr. Edgerton. One minute remaining. Make a bit of dressing. So I've got the turkey bacon nice and nice and crispy. Added some honey in there and also some apple vinegar yep. and a touch of mustard. Okay. We're going to make a nice warm salad with the... Oh, that vinegar's gone right up the nose. Is it? Is it going so straight to you? Nice warm salad. Got some red cabbage here. Third second, chef. Some monge too. And then just a couple of baby sweet corn. Just gently warm that together. Yeah. Get all those flavours from the, the turkey bacon, the vinegar and the honey. That's going to go on our plate there. Okay. The this. soup's just nicely come to the boil. You can reduce that a little bit if you want to. And we're just going to spoon some of the, the noodles and the chicken leg into the base of the bowl. You're spoiling us tonight, Tom. And then... You really are. There you go, your lovely Thai chicken stock with your coconut milk. Wow. Finish that with a touch of coriander. And then your smoked chicken to go on top of the Well, the I'm salad. definitely going to have a go on this, that's all right. Before you just do... I'm just going to have a little go on the soup. Is it, it's probably scalding it hot. It is fairly it? hot. Watch yeah. your mouth. And there you go, your smoked chicken oh. on top of your... That salad. is absolutely divine. Um, as for the salad, well, it looks too good to try, really, but I'm just going to dive in very quickly and see what's going on Again, there. Again, you've got a nice warm salad there. You've got the nice hot dressing going through there. With a the crunch as well. And a bit of crunch there. Do you mind carving the chicken for us for a little chow down at the end of the night? The yeah? crew later. Bit of dinner for everyone. Well, well, I feel like chicken tonight. We've got it three <laughs> times, that's for sure. Never read that before. Uh, this recipe is on the Facebook page round about now. Let's get yourself on there. Tom, bless you, thank you. We're going to come back and taste in just a few moments. We Lovely. might need your help. Uh, because up. coming up next, it is... Oh, brace yourself. I'm ready. The guessing game. All right, it's time to play the guessing game where tonight's caller has just 60 seconds to help me guess as many of the images that appear on the screen behind me as possible by describing what they see. Each one that I get right is a point and the player with the most points at the end of the week gets to take part in the big Thursday final. Oh, he's still eating. Bit of chicken. It's delicious, absolutely <laughs> delicious. Fingers crossed then, everyone. Um, we're going to make a little change tonight, if that's all right. Mm -hmm. um, I've always wanted to be a quiz show host. Not that ah. I'm really, you know. <laughs> but uh, I'll be adjudicating tonight. So Ash is going to be doing the guessing. Uh, so to make sure there's no peeping from Ash, I'll be asking her to take centre stage. And let's go to the lines. Let's go to line number one. Good evening and welcome. Who's there? It's Emma. Emma, hello. Good afternoon to you. Good evening to you. Whereabouts are you calling from? Uh, Jamira Village Circle. Jamira Village Circle. Fairly straightforward, uh, Emma. You basically guess as much as you, you guess the, the pictures as you see them, and we'll give you 60 seconds. The, t the number you need to beat is four. Are you ready, Emma? Yep, as ready as I'll ever be. Ash, you ready? I'm ready. Let's start those 60 <laughs> seconds now. Over to you, Emma. OK. Um, American actress married to Brad Pitt. Angelina uh, Jolie. Loads of children. Angelina Jolie. It's the correct answer. One half of Hollywood's most photographed couple. So congratulations uh, there. Let's go to the second one. Over to you, Emma. Uh, OK. Mm -hmm. um, Come on, Emma. Help me help you. OK. Uh, footballer, British footballer, uh, married to Posh Spine. Beckham. 
<laughs> is the right answer. Recently retired, uh, looking for a bit of work at the moment as well. OK, on to number three. Emma. Emma. OK. Um... That's right, Lady Gaga. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. That's the next answer. It is indeed. We suddenly got to that one. So let's move on to the, the, the fourth one. See if you can equal last night's. Guess away. We've started, um, so we'll finish. Lady Gaga. That's, I've got that one. <laughs> got that one. It's fine. It's okay. You got three out of uh, out of the possible four. So well done to you. And Ash, I thought you did an absolute thank sterling you. job as thank well. Thank you. All right. Flawless. Angelina Jolie and Beckham are definitely my favourites. Emma, thank you so much for joining us in our competition. Thanks to Chef Tom, my lovely quiz master slash co-host Tom, <laughs> our guest, and most importantly, you for getting interactive with us tonight. <laughs> what do you reckon, Tom? Do you reckon you can do that or not? Oh, it's a tough game, man. <laughs> You're <an> awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We're back tomorrow with some practical advice uh, for bullied kids out there. <laughs> Seriously, fingers crossed, all right? Round three of the guessing game tomorrow. I bet you can't wait. Have a good night.